Welcome back guys and we are back again with another video this time we are going to be going over a bedrock world editor now but you're wondering um, why this looks so terrible and well that is the world editor but probably more my skills with it either way this awesome free program is going to allow you to edit large chunks on your map it's super quick and easy to install you can even change your biome types with a nice 3d view of your map so let's get into how to do this So to get started you're going to want to head on over to amuletmc.com I'll leave the link in the description and this is basically where you're going to download it from whether you've got Mac, um, whether you've got Windows or whether you've got Linux. It's simply a case of finding the one that you want to download or the one that suits you. I'm going to go for the release rather than the beta and the 64 bit. So if you just go ahead and click this it's going to start downloading. If you head on over to your downloads file you can simply drag and drop it onto your um, dashboard and it will then open up the files. If it hasn't opened up the files and it doesn't look like this then simply right hand click go to the 7 zip and then go to extract files click OK and it will extract it where you are it won't come up with this message for you so I've already got this extracted so I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel but for you you're just gonna go ahead once you've done that you can go ahead and delete the old folder because you're gonna have a folder like this which is the extracted version just go ahead open up the folder we're gonna open up amulet and then you can scroll down until you see amulet app Double click this and it will run the program. Now for this we're just going to open it up and then go ahead to open world. Now I know I did say bedrock however this can also be for Java and it's got loads of fun little features. We're just going to go ahead um, with one of the features on the bedrock for now. Just so bedrock clients can log on and do some world editing. If you have played on this already it's going to have your recent worlds on the right hand side. However we're going to go to bedrock and we're going to open up one of our worlds. This is directly uh, attached to our Minecraft so it will open up all the worlds for bedrock or Java so we're just going to go ahead and do the test amulet world now you've got this up in the window you can choose a few bits we can either go to the 3d editor or the convert so we're going to go to the 3d editor this time now the way this works is going to be the chunks where your player was last loaded so if your player was stood um, exactly here where I am right now this is where it's going to load up as you can see we've also got a very minecraft looking level here it pretty much looks the same it almost looks like you're in game uh, but you're not sort of like in a creative mode now like i said before um this will be around your player so it sort of depends on your render distance what you've got set to it so it will only load up a certain amount um, and then it will stop loading as you can see you can come quite far out on your map and you can actually load quite a lot up let's just go ahead and just load up a few chunks over here and as you can see by my destruction that I've been playing around on this map with it already so I don't claim to be an expert on this however I know some of the handy things that you can do so let's just go ahead and go through them so controls you're going to find by going to options and then controls they are very easy you got your you know your WASD for up down left and right you got your space bar um, and your shift button to go up and down on the screen and then if you right hand click you can just use it to turn like that your left hand click is going to be the selector so let's just go ahead and try and select this tree right here and then just copy it over and make much more so I'm just going to click it and I'm going to hold the button down once you've got the object that you want to copy over just go ahead and click copy you've now got a nice little copy of this tree so if we come straight down here choose the selector on the left hand side then we can go to paste now it's going to give you the exact copy of the tree which we can then just click into the ground right here now once it's in the ground you want to center it or rotate it a little bit you're going to use the location first so the X is going to be how much on the X axis we can move it like that if we want on the y axis we'll just move it up so it looks a little bit more normal with the grass coming out of there um, and then we can of course turn it on the z axis also if you want to rotate it you can of course do that too um, if you ever wanted an upside down tree that's the way to do it however let's turn it the right way around and let's turn it on the y axis so it looks a little bit different once we hit confirm oh and of course you can also choose whether you want to scale it so if you wanted to see a tree like a flat pancake just click it down to zero we can again scale it on the x-axis or of course the z-axis as well so let's make some super fat tree um, let's make it going up and now let's go ahead and confirm now before you go ahead and do this I do recommend doing it on the test world because it's hard trying to get your uh, your distances right sometimes as you can see here I've dug into the ground and especially if you're doing your main world I very much suggest using a copy however as you can see you can do this and you can do this on quite a large scale as well let's say for instance I wanted to copy over this mountain I'm gonna bring up a big square like this I might want to extend it by simply clicking on the corner that you want to extend it by and extend it like that and we're just going to go over to copy you can also go ahead uh, delete the blocks um, or paste in that section instead let's just try the cuts let's just cut it and that's going to cut everything from that area there and it's going to leave it quite bare now if we come over to the side over here we're just going to select paste we're going to find a nice place to put it which is going to be here we can then choose with the y-axis whether we want to bring it up a little bit further and we're just going to go ahead and confirm and paste that in so we get a nice little mountain view 
As you can see, we've now created a nice little mountain dip there, but we might have to cover up the floor a little bit as I've done that a little bit too low. So one of the great things about this program is the fact that you can simply now go over to File and you can go to Save. Now we're just going to go ahead and close the program down and we are going to open up Minecraft. Simply come over to the world that you are doing it on. Of course, again, I would suggest having a copied world just in case you have any errors, any chunk errors, anything like that. So let's just go ahead and open it and we should find um, that we already have our stuff in there. So as soon as we load up, the changes have taken effect. And as we can see, we got a really huge, weird looking tree right in the ground there. And over here, we have our cliffside with a big gap in the middle. Yep, certainly no diamonds in there. It's actually quite nice opening up, a bit like a sandwich. Just come in, check out the cave systems. But anyway, so as you can see, quite easily, we can copy and paste quite large chunks over. And as you can see there, that is exactly where we cut the whole chunk out, which we then replaced over there. So back to the edits now, and what other cool things can we do with this? So now let's say we want to set a certain area to be a biome. We're just going to go ahead and select an area. So I'm going to select this area over here with a river. We're then going to go to operation. I'm going to change this to frozen river, and then I'm going to run um, the operation. Now if we just go back, save the world and head back over to Minecraft. And now as we come over to this exact patch that we changed over, you can see that we got snow exactly there because the biome is set differently. And that could lead to quite a few fun things. You can have a few different biomes in one area. And as you can see here, it's starting to ice up because, of course, this is now a different biome. Now, I'm not going to do an extensive video yet because there's lots of things to explore with this. And with a little bit more knowledge, I think we can do some great things. So go check out Amulet. It's looking like the next good program out there for making Minecraft maps, editing, and especially because you get the choice on Bedrock 2, which is really nice. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, then make sure to subscribe. Bye-bye.